welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Can somebody please explain to me because I'm a little slow. But how is it possible that the intel community and the media, who's always talking about national security, every time Christopher Ray or the DOJ uh, testifies, they're always talking about being sensitive because of national security. And here we have the Biden family who all of their success and money was built on them selling access to Joe Biden. Now, everybody who Joe Biden said he never met with, he actually met with. We got pictures of it. So explain to me, how is it possible that this corrupt See now, Joe Biden is still in office right now. The intel community knew about this. Are you telling me, or you want, do you want me to believe that the intel community did not know that Hunter Biden and Joe Biden was in bed with the Communist Party, was in bed with the Ukraines and the Russians when they were having these private meetings? Because everybody who, when Donald Trump nominated somebody, as soon as they got in there, the intel community was watching and investigating, tapping every phone record. So that means to me personally that the intel community, a lot of them needs to be arrested. Because they are helping destroy our national security. Because if you're telling me that they're too dumb to know about it, we already know that's a lie. Because when they wanted to catch every phone call that somebody with Donald Trump was doing, they caught the phone call. So I'm going to hear a lot that they don't know about it. Of course they knew about it. The, the laptop shows the pictures and the meetings and everything else. So my question is, how is it possible that Joe Biden, quote, is still the president? <clears throat> how do you ever become the president? <clears throat> being now, see, being now would have been enough uh, to disqualify him from being the president. But the corruption should be grounds for hitting him with treason. He and Hunter was literally meeting. You remember the debate, him and Donald Trump? He was saying he never met with these people. He cursed people out who even suggested that he knew anything Hunter was doing. Nobody was meeting with that crackhead Hunter Biden without Joe Biden's approval. The reason they was meeting with Hunter Biden, not because Hunter Biden was smart and he knew about energy and all this kind of stuff because he was too busy doing crack. The only reason they was meeting with Hunter Biden is because of Joe Biden. I'm, that's a mic drop. I'm done with the conversation. Because if you're telling me that these people was meeting with this crackhead when he had no experience, zero experience in anything, the only reason they was meeting with him is because they were selling access to Joe, who's now sleeping Joe, or senile Joe, or bumper car Joe. So we need to go in and start arresting some of the intel community folks. All is getting under. You can go let them testify behind closed doors. Just lock them up after they get through. See, this is the way. Get everybody who has clearance to whatever they want to talk about. And put them under. I don't want to hear about this ongoing investigation BS. You allowed a man to meet with these foreign dignitaries. Did you not know he was meeting with them? Because we're supposed to be monitoring these kind of stuff. He was the VP. He was a senator. He was me. He and his son was meeting with all of these foreigners, Chinese Communist Party, Russian former uh, Russian mayors, wives, Ukraine folks, and you people in the intel community who's supposed to be protecting the country didn't know he was meeting with these people. Either you're lying or you ain't company. Either way, we gotta lock you up because you're threatening our national security now. <clears throat> So I'm not buying this that they didn't know. Of course they knew. They knew exactly what was going on. And they are the ones who covered up for Joe Biden. Don't let anybody fool you with this BS they're uh, uh, trying to present to you. The intel community knew Joe Biden was compromised. The intel community knew everything Hunter Biden was doing. Not just the laptop. They monitored his stuff. So even without the laptop. See, the, the laptop it just exposed them for the liars they are. But we already knew that, but now we got concrete evidence to prove that Joe Biden was meeting with these people. The intel community knew he was meeting with these people, and they did nothing about it. The only reason we're talking about it is because the laptop by the crackhead got dropped off. 
And now you didn't do anything to stop what Joe Biden and Hunter Biden was doing, selling out the country for Chinese interests, for Russian interests, for Ukraine interests. How is it possible that this is not a national security risk? Of course it's a national security risk. And all the intel community, the same ones who lied about Russian collusion, same one who lied about Hunter Biden's laptop being Russian disinformation, are the ones who were covering up for Joe Biden. Are you freaking kidding me? <clears throat> so my question is, I don't want to talk about how we expose them, but we are, we're past that. That's child's play now. Let's get to the point when somebody's going to go to jail. Because these people got to be locked up. They keep on talking about national security and democracy, throwing these words out here. Nobody's above the law. That means you're not above the law. They don't mean themselves. Are you kidding me? Of course they think they're above the law. Hillary was above the law. Barack Obama was above the law. Loretta Lynch was above the law. James Comey was above the law. Andrew McKay was above the law. The whole Biden clan is above the law. You mean they're not above the law? Of course they're above the law. That's why they're not getting locked up right now. They'd have been Barack. If Barack Obama would have got locked up. Matter of fact, that fake birth certificate or whoever else was covering and made the thing, that's a that's a federal offense right there. So don't tell me. Hunter Biden, when he bought that illegal gun and then threw it in the trash, he would be in jail if nobody was above the law. Hillary mishandled classified information, lied about mishandled classified information. Uma, her girlfriend, with a perverted husband, Anthony Weiner had some of his porn and classified information on the computer that he was doing his porn with. Tell me, classified information. What's the difference? Somebody's flying a freaking airplane, a small, low airplane, too, with a banner on it or something. Sure is noisy. But anyway, I digress. The 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 Biden administration, I mean, the Biden clan has been compromised for years. The intel community knew this because they said we didn't have any other viable candidate that we had this much corruption on. So let's just put Joe Biden up there. And they, they got James Clyburn, Stephen from Django, thinking that he's responsible for Joe Biden when he's taking credit for slave, get back on the plantation. The intel community is the one who actually put Joe Biden in there. You ain't have a damn thing to do with it, fool. He got his chest stuck out like, yeah, uh -huh. you're responsible for, for winning for Joe Biden. Are you freaking kidding me? You're not smart enough for that, Stephen from Django. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> he up there like, yeah, I'm done. And I want. And I asked I asked Joe to run again. Of course you did. Freaking feel hand, of course you did. It's what you do. My wife really loves Joe Biden. Exactly. Do I need to say anything else? Freaking unbelievable. So national security is compromised because Joe Biden is compromised. Stop playing with me. I said stop playing with me. Don't insult our intelligence by trying to pretend or something like that. The intel community knew Joe Biden was compromised. Just like they knew Barack Obama was compromised. They won't compromise people. That's who they want in office so they can control them and tell them what to do. Don't care about your national security. Are you freaking kidding me? It's a joke.